Hi, welcome to Doris Playground. Um, today I'm gonna be making a phone strap that's been that I've been seeing pretty often on Instagram and TikTok. Um, if you remember, I had a Shein unboxing. I went to go buy unboxing these iPhone 11 cases. I'm gonna make two different ones. I'm gonna make one with these pearl beads and some metal chains. And then I'm gonna be making one with these. I don't know what they're called, but um, I'll link as much as I can down below. These are actually brace uh, necklaces that I bought, but I'm gonna cut them up because I like the chain and it's already kind of changed color. So I'm gonna use it for this. And then these are the caps that you need to make the chain on the case. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add um, these caps on here to uh, make sure that they stay. So this is gonna be on this side and this is going to be on the opposite side. Um, Uh, these are pretty thin so it shouldn't like scratch your phone from the inside but if you are concerned i recommend um, super gluing these down or using you can always use resin too using uv resin and carrying the back uh, but i think my phone should be fine so i'm going to pin it so you need to make a hole into the case um, I've seen people use a screwdriver and like and a, and a knife. I'm gonna see if this pin vise that I bought for resin will work um, because this should actually this should be the size of this hole. I don't know what size this is. 2.5 millimeters should be the size for this hole. So it went through pretty, it went through pretty easily. Let me just make sure that this will fit. It is, it does have a little like bump. I think it's because of the hole. You just have to like cross it off. So you can definitely do it with this. I'm going to try the other one with a knife with a, a like an exacto knife and see if that will work i recommend using like mine already came in a styrofoam i'm gonna keep it in the styrofoam to make sure i don't like ruin anything but i want it to be right here so i'm just gonna do a hole hole like that as well I'm gonna put, see if this will. Doesn't go through. I'm gonna take a screwdriver, I'm gonna heat it up. And then, see if this will work. Again, it's a flame, it's hot. Okay, that worked really well. Um, as long as you start with using the knife first. So you can use a pin vise or you can use a screwdriver with the help of a knife. Again. This is the case. Uh, it's pretty secured. Uh, 
there is a little bit of like some space in here um but it's just because i didn't cut off the edges which i'm fine with um the first one that i'm going to do is i'm going to be using pearl beads um but instead of using just regular string i'm actually going to put it through some jewelry chain so it keeps with like the theme of the silver that i'm going for first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to measure how long i want this to be so i like want to be able to fit my hand like this and so i'm gonna cut it right right here Um, I have these really thin ones, really, really thin ones. I think this is the right size, but I'm definitely going to need to put it on like bigger rings. I put it on, I'm going to be putting on a bigger ring at the same time. And close it up. So it's like this. I'm gonna attach it to another. Yes, I did three rings, but um, it's because I'm afraid that this one is too thin that it might come out of this one. I'm going to add pearls. These are six millimeter pearls. I'll be back after I put all the pearls on. I added all of the pearls. I'm gonna go in and add this small O-ring so that it, I can close it up. Okay, so that's that. I'm gonna cut Exactly from this end to this end. I'm going to cut this one. So I cut. Alright, I'm going to open up the big one now. my entire hand fits. I think I forgot to calculate like these, the distance of this. And so I think one inch would have been fine, but there's one case. Let me go and make the other one. Thank you. 
So I took the plastic chains and I linked them together. Um, as long as you put them, as long as you put the opening sides like opposite of each other, it shouldn't really come out. Um, yeah, it looks. like that so all of the openings all of the openings are right there so this is the necklace that i bought okay so i wanted to do this one my only concern is i don't know how to like undo this okay but it does go perfectly like as three so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna undo this o ring um okay i was gonna do it i was gonna make a second chain i'm not going to i'm just gonna add this to the one that I already made, right here. So I added this one as well. And then... Obviously, like if I want to, I can take this one out. This one is a lot shorter, and so this one will really give me that stability. But I feel like this three works. It's not bad, but again, because it's just pretty flat, you don't. I don't think you have to worry about it scratching up your case. But I'll use it for a couple days and let you know. Yeah, that's how I'm making my phone strap. So it's the next day. I realized I do want to like cut this so that it is exactly like this size. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to open it up and cut it. So. is perfect and it like all fits together i made this and i posted it on instagram and my friend saw it and she liked it and so i'm gonna make her one as well thankfully she has the same phone version as me so i have another case um, that i can use for her i'm gonna do um the same design but instead of pearls i'm gonna be doing these crystal beads and then um, everything else is going to be the same. So I'm going to measure everything out.
these beads don't go through, so back to pearls we go. Always second time is better than the first. 